guys, what's up? In this video, I wanna talk about a really quick plugin that you can actually use to publish your own websites directly from Figma. And the job that it does, it honestly is even better than the uh, frame, Figma to Framer plugin, Figma to Webflow. Figma to Webflow is pretty much crap. Figma to Wix Studio, it actually does a much better job than any plugins that I've personally used, even I think Anima. I think, I personally think it even does a better job than that as well. The plugin that we're going to be talking about is this one, which is by Div Riots, which is Figma to website. Now, there's a certain way in order to use this particular plugin. So obviously you need to make sure that you're using, even if you don't do that, like it's not gonna destroy it, but obviously ideally you should try to use Flexbox and auto layout and stuff along those lines. And the way to use this is I've currently set up a header. So this is my header for the plugin demo. I have linked the home page to the home. I've linked the, the blog page to the blog. I've linked the contact page to the contact. And as you can see, this is pretty straightforward stuff. Nothing really much going on. I've basically made some links. I'm also just going to quickly go ahead and make sure that the color here is actually the 600 for the primary. And as you can see, I'm using untitled UI. So this isn't really a custom design that I'm actually showing you on. It can actually be done on pretty much standard uh, designs that you usually get in libraries and stuff along those lines. So in order to use this plugin, you obviously need to go ahead and open it. So I'm gonna open it like this. In here, I already have my account linked. This is a free account, but uh, you can actually publish your websites, I think up to 10 pages for free. And what we're gonna do is, in order to actually go ahead and make sure that these pages are imported correctly, I'm gonna draw a section here. So this is going to be my home page. I'm just gonna label that slash home. This one, and you don't even have to do slash. You can just like draw a section here. This is going to be my, let's say, blog page, I think. And then this last one is going to be my, let's say, contact page. So I'm gonna say this one is contact. So once I've done all of that, it already adds the slash automatically. And I'm gonna say, okay, this is going to be my home page. This one is going to be my blog page. This one, I'm gonna select the section as you see that I'm doing, is going to be my contact page. In this plugin, it has a lot of capabilities. I can set the favicon as well. I can set the title, the meta description. I can link it to a custom domain as well. And a, have like, let's say Google fonts automatically and stuff along those lines. So a lot of that stuff is actually built into the plugin along with a lot of different features. But for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and actually just publish this to show you the magic that it actually does. Now the publishing takes some time. I think it probably takes like a few minutes. So you probably have to bear with that. That is slightly slower than some of the other plugins, I think, but I honestly, or maybe it's not even slower. Maybe it actually compares well because here I'm converting three pages, but it does a really good job at the end. Okay, so guys, resuming the video after a while, it's done. I think it probably just took like a few minutes and now I can just click on this link and it's gonna take me there. Now, as you can see, this has like, I cannot believe it. You can see, I think my previous video where I do a comparison of the different plugins or the different tools, Webflow, Wix and Figma, or sorry, Framer, but this does an even much better job than that. I mean, this is insane. And similarly, if you were to, let's say, resize it, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna resize it. Now, as you can see, even the mobile layout looks good. Now, as you can see, some people may think like this looks really weird, but that's a problem that we made, not this particular plugin. So if we just have a look at it, and obviously I don't have a tablet layout, so it, when it goes here, ideally it should shift to tablet, but since we don't have a tablet view, it shifts to something like this. So we can actually just go ahead and fix it. And there are a few other things that I wanna talk about. Not only does this plugin does an incredible job here, and obviously the blog pages and everything should act al also be done. So let's just go to the contact, let's go to the blog here, and most of those pages should already be done and a job really well done. Remarkable in my opinion. One other thing, as you can see, the hover states on the buttons are working. The hover state here is working. Even the interactive components, this is an interactive component which opens and closes an accordion, even that is working. I did not do anything. We just have an interactive component for an accordion and it automatically works because this actually keeps the links of those interactive components as well, which is freaking insane. Now, coming back to the side, one other thing that I just wanted to point out with this particular plugin is you can actually have your animations directly since interactive components work. I can basically go ahead and have this whole section animated. I can say this is going to be my hero section. I'm gonna add multiple variants to it. So let's just go ahead and place these variants side by side so we can see them. Let's also make this hug content. Actually, let me just expand that and 
also make this a hug content as well. I'm not sure why it got squished. So we're just gonna go ahead and replace this with our section and we're gonna say this is going to be a fill container. That looks fine. I'm gonna say we wanna add another variant. So in this first variant, maybe we wanna go ahead, actually let me just also say that these are not going to be an auto layout. Now once I, once I do that, as you can see, things shifted. So if I'm converting them or if I'm making them not an auto layout, then obviously I need to go ahead and actually center them. So I'm gonna say this is going to be centered aligned and this thing is also going to be center aligned. So I'm gonna to go to my constraints. I really think Figma has done a horrible job on the constraints thing, but let's go ahead and actually duplicate this again. So I'm gonna say by default, this is going to be at the top. This thing is going to be at the bottom. And the second one, this one is gonna come down here. And in the third one, it's all gonna be present. So now if you were to animate this, I'm just gonna go ahead and say this one is going to go here. It's gonna have an after delay of let's say no. It's just gonna, the animation is gonna happen immediately. This is going to be let's say ease in and out and maybe the speed is gonna be 600. And we're gonna apply the same effect here after a delay, ease in and out, 600. Maybe the delay doesn't need to be there. And let's just actually first see if the animation looks good to us. So I think it actually looks pretty good. And now if we were to publish this again, I'm gonna open the plugin again. I'm gonna say that I wanna publish it. Okay, so it's done now. We can now go and actually have a look at our page. And as you can see, even the animation that we just added is now here. So we can basically have the whole page animated if we wanted in Figma. And then obviously it's gonna work directly. So I mean, amazing plugin, amazing stuff. And I still don't think obviously it replaces Framer or Webflow or anything. But since it's free for the most part for 10 pages and stuff, and it does a pretty terrific job. If you actually wanna host your uh, designs and you just wanna paste them here, have people uh, interact with them responsively and stuff along those lines, this is gonna be a great plugin because obviously in uh, Figma, you cannot have responsive designs, right? You cannot have a preview. Let's say if I go to a preview here, if I was to open, let's say this particular design, I, I cannot go ahead and resize my screen and see them animating and everything along those lines. I wouldn't be able to do that. So I can see this, but I cannot go ahead and now resize my screen in order for this to respect the resizing. So yeah, I mean, I think it's a terrific plugin and that's pretty much it for this video. Do subscribe, hit the bell icon and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, bye.